Oh, best way to uh, gain your respect and the fastest way to lose. Oh, okay. Best way to gain my respect is um sticking to your word. Uh, fastest way to lose it is yeah, just not sticking to your word or not communicating. Like I said, I'm big on communication. So let me know what you got going on. Um, losing respect. I don't like men that hate women. I don't like um people to clearly obviously disrespect you but it's a tone and a way that you say stuff so that always matters too and then if a situation escalate i need to know how you gonna handle it if you gonna handle it depending if it's like a professional thing <laughs> but if you gonna handle it that way or if you just gonna go all out so so are you the friend that's going to be professional when it comes to like getting into altercations in public and stuff? It depends what it is. I don't do drama. <laughs> okay. Like I don't. I've never been in a fight. I don't do like. Yeah. If I had to, I will, of course. But mm -hmm. I, I'm grown. What is we? What is we on loving hip hop fighting for? Like, right. <laughs> it's entertaining. No, <laughs> but no, we too grown for all of that. Like we could have a conversation and part ways. You don't. You don't matter for real. Like so, <laughs> it's other things. But that's know. being grown. Y'all feel like we. Uh, still supposed to not call the police on people. I do. Mm. I'm the type of nigga. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> he said, I do. I'm 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 a, I'm a, don't do it to me because I'm calling. I'm a licensed carrier. So yeah. I'm, um, anything I can use in my event, I'm going to use. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my gun was in the car. Mm. Like, if, if they would have found some gas in the car and my gun, mm. that's a felony, mm. I think. I don't know. I don't remember how much weed has to be in the car, but it was out in Rome, too. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. they they not playing with us. So, <laughs> that, right, that girl, I was scared. My gun ain't in the car with me if I'm smoking. And I, I don't really, I don't like to smoke in the car. So, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. That was a wake up call. I thank God. That might have been the quickest, the quickest uh That's prayer. Oh. Yeah, because he, he asked me a question about the quickest prayer that God answered. I said, "Oh Lord, please let me get out of this. I got out of that situation." Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I got a quick prayer that God answered, y'all. What? Today, I gave the church a lot of money, right? But mm. before I what gave, what you do that for? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm cracking up. It's only awful people do that too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> was about to get the money so i normally give the church like 25 dollars uh -huh. but this week i made like way more than i've been making good like, congratulations thank yeah. you so i'm like all right it's based on what you earn it's yeah. going to be more if you earn more give more so 10%, yeah so i'm like all right i should probably give them 50 but i didn't even like ask for it i was like all right i should probably get them 50 like cool i'm thinking about it while i'm thinking about it i open cash out why is 50 dollars already right wow. there i'm telling yeah. you right there. Oh, but the prayer i did say a prayer you know how the pastor will pay, pray over your offering and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I do that for any money in my hand, anything about the send off. I say, God, you see my need, feel my need, and multiply exponentially. Yeah. So He filled my need because I needed that fifty dollars to get to the right church. On time. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but it was more. I gave them more than that. <laughs> but that was the quickest prayer ever. Yeah. Prayers. I say, what do you think about the pastors who ask for like way more than ten percent when they be like, "Give me fifteen hundred. I know you got it." <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Um, I never seen nothing, but today I, I did my offering and then just when I was in my head thinking like, dang, they did a really good job. It was my pastor's mm -hmm. birthday and they brought in guest preachers. I'm like, dang, they really tore it up. They did. They did their thing. And I'm like, think about giving some more. Mm -hmm. As soon as I thought about it, dude was like, yeah, pr Bishop turned to 55. If y'all got 55, I'm asking y'all to give it right yeah. here and there. And he was like, and... For y'all who really got it, if you got 155, get 155. <laughs> so yeah, I did just see that. But I think it just depends. And I, I did it. Mm -hmm. I gave the 155. Cause I was already contemplating on 55. I was like, I'ma give it. Cause I mm -hmm. had it to give. Like, I'm okay. So, but the fact that their message was on point, the message was on point. Them, their teaching, I felt like I was at school. Mm -hmm. The same way that I was talking about the Bible, that I would talk about the Bible, that's how they were talking. And they they had context as of what was going on for you to know, the background to understand how in, like important this is. It was really, I'm like, in the comments, and I, and I was mad because I said, I should go to church today. Mm -hmm. I meant to be in that room today, and I wasn't. Oh, you were watching on your phone? Mm -hmm. yeah. I was in the comments like, you <laughs> teach you to <laughs> me. Crazy. <laughs> really doing it for mm. me. so if you doing what you're supposed to do and what he said was it's not about um he said it's not like whatever he called it he said it's equal sacrifice like mm. and i get it like we all here to worship the name and to know god is to know that what you give like he everything god got for you gonna pay for it mm. so we equally sacrificing together if you got it give it right because i gonna give it right back so it's like i don't know to know about jesus to know money ain't nothing Jesus gonna tell you, okay, who pay, who face on that dollar? Who money is that? Yeah. All right, give it back to them. You don't need it. That's um, that's crazy. I actually work. I run a social media page for um a pastor mm -hmm. out in Michigan. Um, yeah, we were just talking. That's where I'm from, mm, Michigan. Okay. Um, and we were on the phone. He was like, um, yeah, I'm gonna pay you. I'm gonna pay you this money. But do you tithe? Do you have the church home? I said, no, I watch it. He said, oh, you need to tithe because this is the Lord's money. And I'm glad he did say that because, yes, it is Lord's money. Not just the money that he gives me, but literally everybody's money, too. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, mean, though? Tithe is your donation to the church. No, I'm saying yeah. if it's the Lord's money, the Lord ain't getting the money. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, with that, I don't necessarily tithe my money to a church because I don't have a church home. Mm -hmm. But I do put my money back into the community. Mm -hmm. Like, um, if I have extra food or mm -hmm. if I, you know, get a little bit of extra money, I see somebody sitting and they struggling, I give it to them. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, today I was doing um, an interview. I was recording somebody's interview. 
and um some little kids came in and they were like they had their bags of shoes and stuff like they they were little kids maybe like 10 to 15 years old definitely younger than 15 but they were like can we have a couple dollars to get on the bus and I'm like, okay, we we clearly record it. Like, right. <laughs> so they, they all in the um, interview, the dude looking up like, what? So I'm like, yeah, okay, I had a couple dollars on me. I went ahead and gave it to them. And I was like, as young black men, y'all have to make sure y'all take care of yourself. Y'all knew y'all was coming up here today. Y'all bought y'all stuff, but y'all didn't make sure y'all have, money yeah, home. have a ride for you to get home. I said, I'm going to get this to you. And it wasn't necessarily like a lecture, but I was like, y'all have to make sure y'all yeah. take care of yourselves and think about this before stuff like that happens. They was real respectful. Um, little boy was like, yes, ma'am, thank you. Um, I think that goes into the part of like be fruitful and multiply. Like, yeah. it's not also, it's not always just having children. It's being mm. fruitful. Like you're That's planting seeds in the children who are here. So for you to say that them young men going either remember it, forget it, but they probably gonna remember it, and that was a, a reason why they encountered you mm. to ask for That's that so money. That's so true. Yeah. To get that word, but I get what you say. You like God ain't getting the money, but it's like the deed. It's like God might take this money and do something, something else with it that needed to be done, mm. but it needed Joe Dollar. Like we needed that Yo, one hundred fifty five dollars for it to happen. Yeah, know? I would rather give it to like my girl or friends or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it strange is just like I gotta be in a good mood to like. Mm -hmm. yeah. But sometimes I'm like, let me get that. Hey, sometimes I be driving like, man, I'm a paycheck away yeah, from being with you, and I can't hear it. But real. stuff like that, I, I get what I can whenever I see somebody like out or in the like. That's why I like, I keep emergency snacks in the car. That's why I got a good now, but emergency <laughs> snacks in the car. <laughs> so I'll be just, you know, handing them that. Or if I need an extra, if I got extra food left over mm -hmm. from something. Or if I got a few dollars and the person behind me trying to count their pennies or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I'll go ahead and get that for them. But we all got to help each other. Yes. And me in particular, I'm not racist at all, but I'm, I'm bringing black people up. Amen. I'm bringing my people up. So that's where I'm gonna go to first. Sorry, but yeah. I'm not sorry. Like we yeah. gotta watch each other's back because it's been too many years where we had. We not exactly, mm -hmm. and we just now I feel like getting around to coming together and uniting. So everything yeah. is a cycle, though. Mm -hmm. Like we've seen this. We've had the civil rights movement. We've seen like our people come together a bunch of times, a bunch of different mm -hmm. new Black Wall Streets and all that. These things. It's just keeping it is the yeah. thing that we haven't kept. Everybody else, but we don't have really like a nation to stick to, mm. like traditions and stuff. Everything we have is America based, yeah. not a, a nation based. So it's just finding ways to keep it. Cause I pray for that. I'm mm. like, God, I don't, and the Bible stuff happened in a long time. Like yeah. it take a long time for stuff to get to fruition for them to see what happened. Mm. So it's, it's like you get frustrated that they're not staying on track, but it makes sense because they're not seeing it yeah. after a while. So I'm like, God, let me know what to do to make sure they can still see it after a while. Like, I ain't going to be here forever. So mm. how you how do we lock it in? That's a good one to pray for. I like that. Amen. That's the thing about Some people will be doing it for 10 years before they see yes. any kind of mm. success. That's everything. Yeah. Lizzo was uh, doing a bunch. Like, she was out for like 10 years or something before she got famous. Mm. But that's what I, I just said on Instagram. Instead of looking at what they have right now, look at how many times they had to try. It's way more than what we're seeing. Mm. But I guess you got to know when to wait and when to give it up. Because you might see a rapper who's been consistent for like 17 years and you like, bro, like. <laughs> give it up. Give it up. It's true. The thing about it is who gonna stay in the longest. That's really what everything. A person who was there is the person who got the sale. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And they they say like um I be following them wealthy pages on Instagram on pages that talk about money. And they be, be like Bill Gates didn't do mm -hmm. this until this age yeah. and I so and so made the basketball team what well, didn't make the basketball team in high school, but mm -hmm. they did this. So yeah. Like J. Cole. He thought, he, was, he thought he was gonna be in the NBA, oh. but he got injured, and uh -huh. then he decided he was gonna be the best rapper. Mm. And that's what he, that's and what it he worked did, for. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, uh, it's a quote that say they swear they don't want to lose you, but they act like they don't want to keep you either. They're <laughs> weird. So how y'all can relate to that. They weird. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have a little commentary before you answer for real. <laughs> I mean, the first thing that pop in my head with that is uh, Ben, of course. Is um, that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they act like they want to keep you, but they don't put the work in with anybody in your life. You got to put the work in with anybody and anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in your life, you got to put the work in. So if, if you stop putting the work in, they want to chase. After after you love them, it's like, I don't have nothing to chase no more. I'm about to go chase this over yeah. here. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? I mean, uh, well, I mean, what y'all feel like putting the work in? Like? <laughs> the work. To keep the per- the same thing you did to get them. Don't show me nothing you can't keep on with. Just show me bare minimum. like, And then stick with bare minimum and surprise me sometimes. Like, if I was good with your bare minimum, that's what I, w- I liked it. It worked. <laughs> I didn't know that was your bare minimum. It was great. I get what you said. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Give, if that's what it was. But whatever it was, keep that. So stick, find out that bare minimum level. Stay there. And then, yeah, the rest of it just going to surprise me. I'm going to be like, ooh, he did that random time, you know? Yeah. Not expected. A simple change would usually, like, the girl I'm dating, like, before they move in, we can be on the phone for, like, hours every day. But as soon as they move in, it's, like, quick calls, like, every day. Because we around each other now. Yeah. I, I never, like, like you. I was on the phone. <laughs> uh, I'm that girl. I, yeah. I'm going to be, like, in high school, I was like that, but. I prefer meeting up and being together, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but yeah, we we live together now, and our conversations on the phone they don't be long. But if I was like driving Uber or something, maybe the conversation would be long. That but part. yeah, <laughs> you be on the Uber yeah. hustle, yeah. But our conversations be straight to the point. We gonna see something when we get home. We can talk about any and everything when we get home. So. Or we don't have nothing to talk about because I just saw you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we just <laughs> left. Yeah. Like, don't call me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that girl though. I'm gonna call you as soon as I leave out. As soon as I leave out, yo. Yeah, I just wanted to say, did you see the clouds yet? Oh man, <laughs> not like not for, not for real, but maybe. No, but I think it's important to have that time for yourself too. Mm-hmm. Um, me and my man talk about this too. About again, like I said, getting to know yourself. You have to know yourself before you yes. like get in a serious and for real committed relationship. Because if you don't know yourself, you kind of just, you, you might go for anything or do anything. Mm-hmm. So that's important. Having that time to yourself, that's that's really important to mm-hmm. me. Um, just to have time to calm down, reflect, focus on stuff. Um, the other night, I went to sleep. I cleaned the whole house, went to sleep, listening to music, playing music on my Alexa. I was playing in the bed. I said, I haven't done this in so mm-hmm. long. Like, usually I'm up talking to him or something, you know, mm-hmm. and he pointed it out to me too, but... Having that time and going back to doing things that you used to do is really important. Mm-hmm. And being in a relationship and losing yourself in that mm-hmm. relationship, I think that that's really important too because that's happened to me before. Like, I'm really big on making sure I see, you know, my friends and stuff, like doing things without him. Of course, mm-hmm. we're gonna do things together, but I'm still my own person at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have met you if I wasn't my own person because you like me for who I am and what I do and how mm-hmm. I make you feel. So I need to make sure I'm still pouring into myself so I'm still myself and yeah. able to, you know, deliver that. So. Yeah, I just heard that recently, like, a woman to be with a guy, he was like, uh, oh, you can't be with your friends. Or if he out with her, you can't talk mm-hmm. to a guy alone. No, like, he, cut it short. Get on out of here. Right. I have um, a guy friend, and um, I have guy friends from college, too. I have girlfriends as well. But, of course, you know, get into a relationship. You looking at the guy friends like, wait a minute, should mm-hmm. I really, you know? But um, one thing that I do appreciate about my man is that um, he he was cool with all my guy friends. Like, I brought him around him, like, mm-hmm. so he would know ain't nothing like that going on. Oh, I'm talking to so-and-so, uh, my boyfriend here today. Hey, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, just making him included in stuff because you, you can't tell me who I can and can't hang out with. That's mm-hmm. high school stuff. Like, if you have a reason, okay, yeah, we're going to sit down and talk about it. I'm mm-hmm. big on communication. But I'm, I'm grown. You mm-hmm. not going to tell me. I don't say that, but I don't like that male friend shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like just that. say uh, don't hang with him. Mm-hmm. But you don't care for it. 
You decide to not hang with him no more. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that brother sister stuff though. That's that's where I'd be like, okay, we we ain't gonna do that. But I'm I ain't gonna, gonna straight up be like, no, I don't hang out with them. I'm the worst too, especially with like frat brothers. Like my friend, oh yeah, I'm going crazy. I'm on your pictures. I'm putting hard eyes on your stuff. Oh yeah, because I'm really (laughs) sis. Like don't look at me because of this. That's really but but look, you gotta understand. Some girls be sis Mm -hmm. and they didn't be yeah. So. You, y'all got to talk that out. Exactly. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> you ain't yeah, like that's talk to him about it. I don't even yeah. care that he going to get in trouble for what I'm about to yeah. do. I have no, it is what it is, bro. Communication. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all gave it up to somebody who be like, that's bro. That's. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Everybody who was bro stayed bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said no. I'm not going for it. Not maybe best friend, like or bestie or something like that, but like bro. That was back in the day. Same thing. Nah. I mean, I can't even say I I uh, crossed a best friend. I've never crossed no best friend, but brother, you're definitely not going nowhere with it. Like I didn't tell everybody my brother. That's that was like high school. Yeah. We brother, sister, sister, bestie, and we had something going on. Mm-hmm. No, we grown. Yeah, damn, that's really bro. Like yeah, I'm broing him hard. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? A girl I call sister. Uh, but you messed with. No, I don't like being around girls like that, for real. If I can afford it, so. Even back in the day? Yeah, even back in the day. Especially that. You can do it as a grown man. <laughs> I'll say especially back in the day. I mean, because, like, girls, like, they be trying to use you. And oh, yeah. Like, if I can't get nothing, <laughs> you ain't getting nothing. Yeah. And, no, I don't really like that girl friend shit like that. Okay. How do you feel about pretty privilege? Do you think that's the thing? I'm going to ask both of y'all that. Yeah. I love pretty privilege. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think it's weird when a girl be acting like that don't really count. Oh, <laughs> it counts. It like, stop it. <laughs> no, it works. I'm oh, yeah. I'm going to use it every what? time. Oh, I yeah. go to certain places knowing I ain't paying for nothing. <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna call her just in and, case. And I'm a straight use, I'm just a girl. Oh, like, yeah. Girl. <laughs> okay. So if a, if a guy tell you you only got here because part of you being here is because you're nice looking, would you be mad if you know you're nice looking? I, I, I wouldn't be. That's the reason, but I wouldn't be upset. I wouldn't be mad it. because I know I have the skills behind it. Mm-hmm. If I ain't had the skills behind it, I was just cute. Okay, I'm just cute. I'm still here, though. Like, right. but yeah, I know, yeah, <laughs> I got skills with how what I'm doing, so yeah. Okay, um, <clears throat> some weight you need to lose that's not on your body. Ooh, ooh, trauma. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, Jesus is Lord. Um, I need to go to therapy. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be honest. I need to go to therapy because it's a lot of stuff that I feel like I don't talk about. And with me, it's like, I feel like it probably is affecting me. But with me, I just go on about my day. Like, I push that back. Like, I, I work my way through it. So, but it's, it is some stuff I need to sit down and talk about and uncover because as I'm getting older, I'm realizing what certain traumas mm-hmm. ha- and how they have affected mm-hmm. me. Like little stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't like when you, this is just an example. Oh, I don't like this person touch my shoulder and make me feel some type of way. Well, why does it make mm-hmm. me feel that type of way? Why do I get angry when this happens or when that person says this to me? Just digging mm-hmm. through that. Yeah. It's good that you taking time to like understand it. Mm-hmm. If, if you can't get to therapy soon, try to talk out loud to yourself mm, that's, that's a new one it's like a major difference it's like having it in here it kind of just it holds it it bubbles up and yeah. it's just there but it's talk out loud just recently i did that because i've been through a lot of stuff in a short period of time mm. but like you i'm like i gotta keep moving gotta keep getting yeah. things done but i knew in myself like i gotta talk about this stuff i'm gonna be hurting so i mm. took a second and because i knew i'm like i gotta cry oh yeah <laughs> girl, oh yeah i love setting up for a cry i ain't set up for like a setting up is girl, crazy but, yeah, like, i can set up for a good cry be sexy like i'm telling you like a kid she talking about some man what <laughs> so, i can't be the shower like Oh, that shower yes. gonna do it. Yes. Yes. You cut the lights off in the shower, light a candle, turn some music on, like you get mm-hmm. sexy with somebody. Yeah. But <laughs> what you get the 
turn on some, some whatever you need uh -huh. to turn on and think those thoughts talk about it out loud and just really walk yourself through it yeah. get yeah. sexy with yourself i like you. that I oh that yeah bed, showers that's like those are my refreshers mm, me too. if i'm upset or anything like that i take me a shower it helped me clear my mind mm. it, it's something about water that purity somebody told me um i had went out to an event i was um doing media for um Pretty pretty hustle. She had a live podcast, mm -hmm. and um, one of Tyler Perry's actors, she was sitting there. Uh, Imani and Zinga, I might have said her name wrong, but um, she was sitting there. She said, "Pray by the water, mm -hmm. like go out to the beach, the mm -hmm. the river, whatever mm -hmm. you can get close to. Go to the body of water and pray." And she said that that helped her a lot. So I haven't been to nobody in water yet, and but best believe next time I go out there, I'm, I'm definitely gonna start praying because I believe it. That water be so refreshing in the shower. So I know a big body of water is going to make a difference. Yeah, I always talk to myself, even like elementary school, middle school, and mm -hmm. people used to say people who talk to themselves crazy. crazy. Mm -hmm. I used to do it anyway. I used to be like, if I don't want to talk to myself, why would anybody else want to talk to me? <laughs> That's <laughs> a good rule. <laughs> I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> she got some stuff to say. <laughs> okay, uh, something you feel you wanted with your spirit, uh, spirit rejected. I'm just sucking my teeth at the encounter because it be happening all the time. <laughs> um, I think, oh, last night I was going to crash out, y'all. I was like, Not a crash out. I'm going to crash out. Like, don't crash out. Don't crash out. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to crash out. That's where I'm going to leave it at. But, um, it wasn't I'm, over, man. It was over an attitude. That's okay. where I'm going to leave it. Okay. But I was just like, oh, I, I want to go home. I feel away. I don't mm. want to feel like this. I'm I'm sad. I was really trying to power through and just finish out my mm. work. I was like, nah, I'm probably about to go home. And got to be working. So, like, 20 was backed up. And I'm like, I'm not going to get back on that. And I was right by my house. So, I went home. But I went to the speaking on the, the question is what's something you, you wanted, but your spirit blocked it, I guess. I pulled up to the, the liquor store prepared for this mm. crash out. I was ready. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting, but I was ready to set the mood. I'm telling you, I set the mood in my life, okay? So I was going to set the mood for the crash out and drink and be ready. But I sat in front of that store, and it had TVs. It was pouring bottles of everything, all the little commercials for alcohol. Uh -huh. I didn't see nothing I wanted. I could see all the alcohol in the store from where I was sitting. Mm -hmm. I didn't see nothing that sparked my taste buds. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, okay. I clearly don't want nothing, but if I do get something <laughs> before I end up going in the store, at least I know I'm not drinking, like, to solve a problem. Mm. So I still try to go in the store. Go in the store, go to the little refrigerators. I'm like, nigga, I want a wine cooler. I want something. Nothing. Mm. I end up leaving. And I had said right before that, I said, y'all, I'm trying not to go in there, and I'm going to use this, and my Bible is on my dash. Mm. So I end up going right home and journaling. Yes, Journaling. talk about it. Yeah. yeah, and then just um went to sleep mm. and woke up to this bomb church service and just feel. I feel great. Like, Today is a new day. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm you know. Well, I, um, I did. It's on my story. So I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them up. Yeah, for sure. I said, I put everything. Up. So what's the point of the journal when you blog? The journal was for me. Mm, yeah. Like the vlog, I'm probably not even gonna watch. It. I don't even like hearing my voice back a lot of times. It takes me a minute to listen to my music. But <laughs> unless somebody else be like, that was hard. I'm like, mm. I don't listen. But nah, that the journal, when I read it this morning, I had I didn't even remember. It was gone. I didn't even remember mm. what I said when this morning I was writing. I was like, I don't even remember what I told you last night, journal, but uh <laughs> I'm gonna go read it. And I went back, I was like, Woo, I probably shouldn't have read that. But at the end, I always end on a positive note. So oh, that's like, good. It was cool. I used to journal a lot when I was younger. Uh, I had like a diary. Mm -hmm. I didn't even call it. I called it a diary. Um, journaling was more so when I got older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, one one thing, I, I like Drinka Gates, Kevin mm -hmm. Gates' uh, wife. Mm -hmm. I like watching her stuff. She just seems so serene and just authentically herself mm -hmm. and not like poured into all the other stuff like that. Check that out. So I like her. Um, one thing on her in one of her interviews that she said was that she journaled every morning. She journals and she write down whatever she got going on, happy, sad, frustrations, and then she just burn it, mm -hmm. and then she start her day. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good thing. I tried that once, no, probably like twice, and it did feel good. Like I had a lot of things. Again, I didn't go to therapy, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had a lot of things going on, and 
I just I just jotted it down and then I burned it in my sink. Like nothing mm. too extravagant or nothing like that. But I burned it in my sink. I was like, okay. And I moved on. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, those thoughts don't really be like crossing my mind no more. Nice. So I think it was more like a, a symbolic thing. But mm-hmm. it actually, it worked. So yeah, I think journaling is really good. That and praying. Mm. I mean, oh, yeah. It's directly God. This is what I want. Yesterday when I went to crash out, I said, God, I don't like how I feel. Mm. I will take the inspiration. I will. I understand. Like I'm. So, this is going to spark something else. Yeah. But I'll even take anger over this. Like I'm hurt. Mm. I don't want to feel this. And I tell you, immediately, for minutes, I couldn't tell what I felt. I felt nothing. Mm. It was just cast your cares on me. <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's what you meant. Cause yeah. it's gone. I don't feel it no more. And I, I didn't feel nothing. Crash outs. I remember one time I crashed out. This was in college, and um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <so, laughs> I was in college. I crashed out. I don't re- I don't even remember like what it was for, but something happened and I had ended up grabbing um the dude's phone. I think I seen something or something like that. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a passcode at the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm just mad. I don't know what I'm seeing. He acted funny. I took the phone, ran out the door, got in the car. I'm talking about had the phone, didn't know the password. Okay, I just, right, got the just got the phone. So this how you do something. Cause he chasing it. Oh. <laughs> Neither, I got in the car. I'm talking about full crash out, just on go. I'm driving on the highway. I went to Kennesaw State, y'all. So I'm driving on the highway, um, trying to swerve, and I'm about to get onto the highway to go like south from um, Kennesaw. He took his truck and got in front of my truck, and we were just sitting there for a minute, like. So how you turned, it came back up. It was it was a mess. Oh my like, god! Never got into the phone. Never figured out what was going on. Yes, it was just you did. Stupid. When that nigga ran after you, you figured out what yeah. was going on. You didn't even know <laughs> no more details. When that nigga made it to the truck and made it to you, yeah. you knew what was going on. Yeah. It was something, and it was what it was. Goes point. back to knowing yourself. Mm-hmm. Cause I say, like, mm. it was just a little crash out. You know. Right. Like, <laughs> Hey, yeah. I see it myself. But yeah. That be girls. Yeah. I miss the girls. <laughs> yep. So yeah, that was my one of my crash out moments. Like Man. that was so stupid. I'm glad it happened because it's like I needed to look back on that type mm-hmm. of stuff and be able to have a story to tell and show growth. Yes. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, crash out. My crash out normally result in me sleep. I'll be mm. I crash out and pass out, but I'll be like, I'll just get really lit, and I might be on the phone like my sister. I'll be complaining, oh my god, and I'll be, I'll never cry, but uh, I complain like I'm crying, yeah. like oh my god, I'm so, uh, doing too much. Might be calling you, might be texting you, uh-huh. going back and forth, possibly not too much these days. But I'm gonna be complaining and getting drunk. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna fall asleep, but I don't <laughs> feel good the next day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your crash out story? You seem more uh-huh. reserved for me. I want to hear your crash. I'm out. saying I don't really. If like a girl go through my phone, even if I'm cheating, I act like I ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> and she just be like, "Who is this?" I'm like, "Man, yeah. <laughs> I act like I don't know what she's talking about." I hate that. I'm trying to watch TV. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, what are you talking about? They talk. Do you see this? A storm on the news, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hate somebody that's nonchalant. My big thing is people that's nonchalant and uh, people that ignore me. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, Ooh, that's I what think. happened. That's, that's why I was going to crash out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to. Don't do that. I mean, yeah, I used to blow up the phone, pull up. Baby, auntie ain't got time for no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, I'm sending you these couple messages. I'm going to call you once. If you don't get back, we're just going to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's been my frustration, though, because I'm not doing the things that I would do. Like, mm. I'm not yelling. I'm not blowing you up. I'm not doing all these things for attention. So. Yeah. I can't be attention seeking. So what do I do? Yeah, I'm gonna go pray. I gotta go pray. Oh, God, I need your attention. You gotta be grown. I'm like, who wants to do that? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah I don't like my girl to blow me up. Right? <laughs> I ain't, I ain't you toxic. Push my ass sometimes. Look, you know he looking at the phone. No, I'm saying I, I <laughs> girl, like, if I go take a shower or something, I got like five minutes call. Uh, I like that shit. And I'm gonna do that yeah. too. Like I'm. If I call you once and you ain't answer, I'm because until I think you're ignoring me. Mm. Like if it's just regular though, boo, like what's up? I'm trying to call you. Like pick up. Yeah. Me. So I'm like that. So that's why also don't ignore me because I'm on your line. Yeah. And I can be ignoring you. No, nah, I'm gonna hit you with them quick. And don't blow my phone up. 
Cause, Cause one thing about it, I'm probably recording asleep. Mm -hmm. Now you didn't mess up with recording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and I'm sleep. Now you didn't mess up with sleep. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, I'll probably make them sleep. Or I mean, or do my phone might be heavy. You gotta put your shit in the airplane yeah. mode and you record. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. will keep calling. That's a fact. About nothing. Every time I'm on the radio, <laughs> people want to call. I'll be like, I'll be on the air, like, hey, I know you guys are calling my phone, but uh, <laughs> the number for the radio station is, uh -huh. and they still, my dad will be like, why I can't call your phone? <laughs> Bro, I'm on the air. You're yeah. listening to me. <laughs> I've been doing that before. I've been calling. Everybody called my phone when I'm on the air. Okay, um, <laughs> a jealous de demon that uh, appeared um, as a supported angel. Ooh. 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 A jealous? Uh, describe that. Somebody uh, trying to act like your friend, basically, but they was really jealous. Yeah, they support like you, but um, behind closed doors, they just be oh. all this stupid, dumbass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> In the industry, um, a lot of that that happens. Um, I brought one girl into the, this was when I was a beginner. Like, um, I was in college, but I had just got um, a new platform, and it's on Roku. So, I had brought this one girl to the studio with me, and I'm like, yeah, just come to the studio. We walk in the field, cool, cool, cool. But she in the studio trying to, of course, network, cool. But she trying to connect and come back without me. So I'm like. Why you ain't just tell me, you know, right. that you, yeah, I come to the studio maybe like a couple days later. I'm like, hey, hey, shout out my people. Woo, woo, woo. I walk in to see her. I'm like, why you ain't tell me that you right. was up here? Like, she's like, oh, hey. I called her about it too. She's like, oh, I didn't mean it like that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm glad you apologized. We talked about it. We, we don't have to deal with each other no more. Like, mm -hmm. it was just that simple. Because I felt like it was snakeish. Mm -hmm. whether, whether you tried to be or not, that was just weird. Like, and you up here, you ain't say, like, hey, girl, look, yeah. I done got up here. Like, you you know, ain't like, sent me a picture, like, hey, you know what I mean? Look where I'm at. You, are you here? You gonna yeah. be, well, I'm going to be here tomorrow. You know, you going to be there. But then I looked at my team, too. Like, why y'all ain't say something? You yeah. know? <laughs> so I talked to my team about it, too. He's like, oh, we, it was nothing like that. We didn't even mean it. It felt more genuine, mm -hmm. but still, you know. Yeah. But you live and learn. Yeah, I can ran through the questions. I don't mm -hmm. want to another page. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Katie. Okay, so tell us something that we possibly didn't ask about you that our audience should know about you. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go back to that question where you said, um, uh, I can't remember exactly what you said, but it was like um, a, a blessing that you didn't know you, something like that, that you didn't, that you a, a spirit what was the question about the spirit that you didn't know <laughs> so, I the, the one he just asked no 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 no. Yeah. he was like it was something that you wanted but the spirit oh, said no you feel oh, yeah. Spirit spirit said. yeah um i had a miscarriage mm. and um this was of course this was with him this was my first time getting pregnant ever um and we ended up having a miscarriage, and that was something that both of us really wanted. Like, we talked about it. It wasn't planned or nothing, but we wasn't using no protection, so mm -hmm. it's like, it was about to happen. So, um, I recently talked to uh, him about it, too. Like, when a miscarriage happened, I was so hurt. Like, I'm a woman. I'm supposed to, you know, grow babies. Like, what's going on? Is something wrong with me? They like, all the doctors, this, this happens. It's, it's common, but it's, like, not really talked about. Mm -hmm. So, I wish, one, it was talked about more, so I could have been you know, more aware of things like that. But I really wanted the baby and for a while it was like, dang, like I was getting excited. I'm like, oh, we're gonna move here. We need to move the house around. We need to get prepared for this. Like just I'm being there. being extra yeah, yeah, nesting and ain't yeah. even ain't even two months yet. Yeah. Like just found out. So I was talking to him, I think this was maybe like maybe yesterday, a couple days ago, I said, I'm actually glad that I had the miscarriage. Like we now we all we we better our finances are better um we we just progressing more and i i just feel better now than i did before when i first found out as a black wo woman i'm gonna get through it you know what i mean but i'm in a better space now and i i just i just know like i want my career to thrive more before i invite a child in mm -hmm. so it was like a that was like a wake-up wake call for me. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
that's cool that you can reflect and say that because some people won't like mm -hmm. you said it's not something that people will speak on yeah and some people will say you know, like like we'll feel bad to say that mm -hmm. but it's sometimes you gotta be prepared mm -hmm. i mean most times you want to be prepared people think it's weird to even say i want to be prepared before i have children mm -hmm. like nobody does that actually people do yeah. that yeah you can do that and then like that's the same thing with people saying that you want to be married before having kids or I've talked to a few different people about that because, you know, I'm going to pick your brain about stuff. <laughs> so it's like some people be like, um, well, of course, the single people, they be like, oh, that don't matter. You can still uh, be a single mom while you're married and whoop you whoop. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, I think everybody, of course, have your own viewpoint. But yeah. for me, of course, marriage is going to be more stable than mm -hmm. you, boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, of course, but stuff don't always happen that way. So. Well, I don't okay. think you're stable because the person can just leave. It's just like y'all just gotta go through it's a contract. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but still, the person just can leave. It's not like they have to stay there and work it out with you. Like, if the person but, wake up, they can just go. That's true, but you have to understand. Well, to me, when you make that commitment to sitting down, doing your vows, going through this big or little wedding, whatever way you want it. You propose to me, we're taking that extra step. So we already understand what one another wants. And we're taking that extra step together as a team. So that's more than just boyfriend, girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like we taking that extra step. And going and, through a process. Yeah, going through a process. It's going to be harder to get out of this process. Like you can still get out of it, of course, but it's going to be harder to get out of this process. That should make you reflect on why we built it this way mm -hmm. and why we did what we did and said what we said at our wedding. It don't really matter. That, it's just like it's a symbol. <laughs> it's because people want, when they want to go, they are gonna leave. You know yeah, saying? it's the I don't know the time frame that we're in right now. It seems easier to leave uh, versus back in the day when marriage was locked in. Once mm -hmm. we was there, we were there. Now it's easier to even see other options, social media, things like that. It's easier to reach other options, reach other people, and it's more difficult to keep just your home where it is because of communication. Like, mm. cause technology has impacted the way that we stay um, as far as relationship goes. But you got to take that time. Like you are you feel like y'all have thoroughly y'all thoroughly getting into that you know as you prepare for whatever y'all got going on y'all gonna get married mm. or what have you you're like we're taking time and setting this foundation yeah so it's like by the time y'all get there prayerfully y'all really both have the understanding that this is what both people want right but some people just be doing it and don't know their partner haven't taken time for their partner because if you really know your partner you want to know like intuition Holy Spirit, whatever you're going to call it, is going to tell you she going to leave. <laughs> if she get too upset, she's not going to stay with me. Mm. Like Something's going to tell you that because of their behavior, because of the time that you took to like really pay attention to them as a person. You know this person is not a finisher. This person is a quitter, right? <laughs> but you love them so bad and you want them to be that person so bad. So it's like... I'm still going to do it. I'm mm -hmm. still going to do it. Even though intuition has told you time and time again, your friends and family, they know that stuff when they come to the wedding. Mm -hmm. like, uh, <laughs> we I'm here, y'all. support for y'all. <laughs> uh, we we even seen y'all fight in the driveway like 15 times. <laughs> but they stayed together though for uh, their fights in the driveway. So maybe they're going to stay together, you know. But you got to take that time and put that in before you decide to sign that contract. Yeah. So many people now want to get they got like two year marriages and stuff because they was talking for two years before mm. that. I don't even know your I don't know your grandma middle name. Like mm. I need to know your grandma middle name before yeah. you propose to me for real. I think even with that too though, like y'all gonna learn about each other like so many things. Even I feel like years down the line. Like of course I'm still learning stuff about him. He's still learning stuff about me. He might drive past somebody one day and look like somebody that I had a funny joke with, and then I'm gonna tell him, you know, yeah. just anything like that. So I think we always go get be to know each other. Yeah. yeah, and to know that that person is gonna be the person that stick with you mm. through changes. Because as we get older, yeah, stuff is gonna change. Mm -hmm. People gonna change. You gonna want different things. You need that person that's gonna be like. How the niggas say that's my bitch. Like <laughs> I'm gonna do what she wants. Yeah. But 
Um, I want to ask y'all this since we talk about marriage or whatever. Recently, so Bug knows this. I didn't make through like this cycle of relationships or what have you, right? Mm -hmm. But after my last real good relationship, I was like, I want seven husbands and all this stuff. And then I oh, went, you Polly. Right, I guess uh -huh. that's what, I'm not a labeler girl, like, yeah. I was born in 94, back then, people was just doing <laughs> stuff, we didn't have to call it nothing, so, but, what people would say is Polly, so I'm like, I want seven husbands, and I was looking, I'm like, alright, I can't get past two, I keep it, <laughs> <laughs> but like, two dudes, I had two solid ones, let me, let me finish this, <laughs> right. y'all got questions, <laughs> okay, what's your question, how you, so how you was looking for them, I wasn't, they was just coming to me, did they know about each other? Oh, the two? Yeah, 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 yeah. They knew what your goal was. Uh, yeah, as it happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, like, the <laughs> two that I had, like, recently, mm -hmm. one of them was is from Maryland. He was here. And I stayed with the one that was from here. And the one, like, we were all in the same apartment, like, smoking and kicking it. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. they know each other. They know who we are. Also, Roman's family. No, no, no. Um, so, but, boom. I say that to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I broke up with both of them. Mm-hmm. Same time? Like, same week. Why? <laughs> Two different reasons. One of them was because the one here, he clearly wanted more. Like, I want you to just be mine. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm clearly not doing that. So We talked about this, Richard. Right. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, let's not do that. Like, let's not waste time and play or whatever. Even though, you know, we cool and stuff, let's just not yeah. do that. And then the other one, he ignored me. It's like, mm. it was, Is this the crash out one? That's yeah. That's why I'm okay. gonna crash out. Okay. Right. <laughs> but after I was gonna crash, I was like, nah, I gotta, I gotta. No, I actually was gonna crash out after I broke up with him. Mm. So boom. Um, but in retrospect and reflection after all of this, I feel as though the desire to be poly or to have more than one partner is a trauma response. Mm, I like that dig. Right. Big. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is my idea. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But because all my life, I can remember, like, not necessarily think about getting married, but I always had a boyfriend. It wasn't like I want to. I want to have boyfriends, and mm. I want to cheat on you. It's like if I have a boyfriend, I'm like this. Yeah. I'm in there. You, me and you together forever. Like whomever I'm with. We married the second day. You hear me <laughs> exactly. So. To think that about myself and then to get into the relationship with two people and I'm like, dang, I got if I'm with you, I'm in love with you. If I'm with you, I'm in love with you too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be okay if I was with one of y'all. You know, mm -hmm. one of y'all that was getting everything right. Yeah. Or close enough. Mm -hmm. But I got to that point because in the past, the past relationships ain't work. And then it's like, all right, I might as well just be with a bunch of new to that. If one of them don't work out, at least I got different things. <laughs> I just go to Taekwondo. You know? <laughs> That was my trauma response because clearly one person ain't got it all. Yeah. So I could be with a bunch of people. I could get tired of you and just give you some rest and go hang with you and blah, blah, blah. But I'm actually okay working things out with the one person that I like mm. as long as I like you that much. So I think it's a trauma response. And I feel like thinking about the people who I know who are like, oh, I'm free spirited and mm. I'm um, poly and all this stuff. Yeah. They've been through a lot of trauma. Mm. And now it's like, this is my uh, my barrier, my blockade that keeps me safe is by trying to be with a lot of people. And now I don't have to force myself to commit or grow and adjust or compromise with one, par one person and partner. Yeah. I agree. I like, once you get a good person and they worth keeping. It's like you have to fix on yourself. And some people be like, it's too hard to do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Trauma. I, can. I was going to ask her, um, so your body can handle two yeah. dicks like that? I'm crying. You're worried about the wrong shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to go too. <laughs> one boyfriend for like a certain amount of time like I was in Maryland for like a month uh -huh. with my boyfriend oh. and then I would come here and then I, I had like a fast and everything where I wasn't having sex at all so like even when my Maryland boyfriend came here I didn't have sex with nobody I was already fasting Mm -hmm. I was really built like that. Then. I'm thinking yeah, you no. gotta take two Thank dicks you. a day. Right? Thank you, Bug, for letting the people know that I'm not built like <laughs> no. that. Thank you so much. Would you? I'm a woman of God. Um, huh? You wouldn't do that? <laughs> Would you I? wouldn't have a train wearing on you? 
I'm, I'm, the only reason I'm saying that is because that's what everybody classifies it as. Yeah, it's it's not ideal. Like it doesn't sound good to me. Like, mm-hmm. Versus me being like, I got two boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Train sound good. No, no. So for you, yeah. like yeah, you running a train. I think child. like because I think a lot of <laughs> a lot of women won't admit to that. I would, but it wouldn't be like a train. I talked to him about this. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be a train. He called it worshiping. And then what you said, that's yeah, what I'm it's saying. Like two men worshiping you versus them doing anything with their dick, they do it with their hands and their mouth. Yeah. That's icy. We're well, a little bit dick too. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. No, but I would prefer worshiping over, oh, a train. Like, we just yeah. one in the coochie, one in the, like. I feel like that's not a train. No, I feel like that's a threesome. Like, it's just double penetration. But a train is clap, 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 pass it to the next one. Oh, clap, 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 that's what that means? Pass it to the next one. Yeah, it's running a train. It's a bunch oh. of dudes running a train on you. No, that's, you get a train to two dudes? I mean, or like multiple, but just like clap and then pass it to a friend type thing. That's what I imagine a train is versus mm-hmm. like a threesome is we're all being intimate. See, a threesome and a train to me would yeah. say. What'd you say? Two guys don't touch each other like on the train. A threesome would be like the oh, guys. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want yeah. to see them being out there. I mean, and I don't feel like it doesn't sound good to me. Like, what? The train. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, like, especially y'all are locked in. Mm-hmm. And you be with somebody for long enough, you be thinking about any, a bunch of stuff you might try because you've yeah. been with that person. So it's y'all bored. Y'all did the same y'all thing. Bored. Like, so I, I don't know what I might be into yeah. with my man after some time and stuff. Yeah, and different people bring different things out of you. Yeah. So yeah, I completely agree with that. I like women who like the same stuff. Like they ain't got always boy, you gotta be trying all this new shit. You look like you like that. <laughs> <laughs> respectfully, respectfully. I mean, uh, I mean like some women like to try like uh just like a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Uh-huh. Like chain. Some women wanna peg you, stick their fingers. Oh, yeah. How old are you if you don't mind me asking? I'm forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, she said, I'm, yeah. she answers some, she answers some stuff. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think, like, um, you, you're supposed to explore stuff with your partner, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. yeah, and having that open communication, mm-hmm. being on that, having that open communication, yeah, because then you, you with Susie for years, and you ain't even know that she, like, her, her thumb, her thumb in her butt, yeah, okay. thumb in her butt, so it's like, Trying new stuff, that's what's gonna like spice it up to me. That's keep it like, lit, yeah, yeah and keep like, it exciting. It get boring, bro. Yeah. That'd be the thing. That was my trauma. That why I had my trauma for I get mm-hmm. tired of people. <clears throat> for real. And the one who I was with, he's great, but when I wanted to start doing other things, trying stuff out, he's like, No, nah, I already did that or no. I'm like, oh, since you already yeah. did it, I don't get to try it. it with me though. Right. It's definitely different. Experiences. I've never done it. Try. I want to try it. Take. Go show me that. Show me yeah. what to do. You never read a train on the girl. Yeah. You know I mean? Some girls think I don't fuck a lot of girls, or you know what I'm saying. Some girls think that I don't be tripping. They like, yeah. Don't look like oh you no, I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I didn't think you would like do like surprises or out of the box or anything like that. I don't know you. Surprise like what? Like you said, the yeah. same stuff. Like, yeah. you, like, you said you like the girls that like the same stuff. I'm saying they satisfied. Like some girls is like, they, I mean, you can make them come from like doing your, a regular thing that you do, but it's yeah. like for some girls, it's like you got to figure out new oh, shit. Oh, flip it over, flip it Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's fair. Yeah. Look, like, don't I, I got some. When you were small, the girl that wants you to flip it over and do all that extra stuff. When you go back to the girl that like the same thing, you didn't open her up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that and, new stuff. Yeah, the, the new stuff. So now she, yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And now she want to explore more stuff. Mm-hmm. Now now she probably coming to you with, oh, what is it like if I had two dudes fuck me? Mm-hmm. So, uh, or what if I had this and this and that? Of course, in your head, you like, oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. But, but it's the fact that she coming to yeah. you, talking to yeah. you about it. And expressing herself to you, not somebody else's. Mm-hmm. You, you the girlfriend, or you the best friend right now, and you know this stuff about her versus her talking to her friend. You don't know none of this shit. Mm-hmm. Like what the hell? Oh, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gonna chime in about six though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpio. So. I know some non-freaky Scorpios. Yeah, I'm not. 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 I'm not.
Ooh. I know, it's such a throw off. They ain't gonna be a stripper. They ain't October, so. <laughs> November? No, oh my God. Nah, crazy. So what's what's some uh you can try with a woman? I did like this about to be I'm trying to Women, uh I'm young, I'm 28, but when I was younger, I talked to nothing but older women that's 30, 40s and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Decent women, like it ain't like they just so crackheads or something like that. <laughs> and, and they put me on to certain things to where we was like, if I really like this girl, if I really want her, I know how I'm gonna get her and I'm gonna know how I'm gonna keep her. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Turn her out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like you said, like, if it get too boring, I know the next thing I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Not to make myself uncomfortable or make her uncomfortable, but I know she gonna like this because I just had like, these women, they 40, 30, mm -hmm. and all five of them just hit it right on the board and said, hey, I like that. Mm -hmm. So why would she like it? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to go into details <laughs> or what, but as far as, like, the ass and all that shit, like, yes. do I eat ass? Yeah. Hell yeah, I eat ass. I know that's right. That's a requirement. Girl, you mean? Listen, listen, you know what I mean? You, 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 when you think about eating ass, and a person say, hell no, nah, to me, that's like a kid thinking like doo doo ooh, 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 ooh. Like, ooh, we grown as hell. Like, if two women right here, like I just said, five people were here on the dock say, yes, mm -hmm. it's two women right here say, eat ass. I like that shit. Why the fuck wouldn't you want to do it? Like, mm -hmm. you figure out how you gonna close the eyes, eat it in a dog, I'll do a fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? If it's hard, like, you don't like it, you know, stay up the tongue, cut that one, you know? But she like it, so you gotta figure out how. If she like it, he throwing the hand your tongue. Ain't a no. hair be no, I, I, I know that like if a girl likes something, she do it because now you hate being with a girl. You know you like your dick sucking. She like, oh, I don't like doing it. Man. Like, come on, but come but on. with men, it we <laughs> so, got real quiet. Up here. <laughs> <laughs> we like, we so smooth with it. We smooth. We did. Oh, yeah. 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 Y'all just... talking too much. <laughs> 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 Like, like, 
it's like starts on whole day. I be nice as hell when I get my Don't try to tell you. A nigga be like, nigga don't get too disrespectful, oh, but a nigga can be a little off. Oh, I, I might let him slide because I got something no more. He don't even know that shit. You know I'm telling like? you. <laughs> no, for real. P, P is power. For real. Facts. It was about that time when um, <laughs> a situation had happened at the job and you went off. And you was like, if we would have had sex that morning, I probably would. Yeah, I had, I had, yeah, I had. Um, see, I got, I got a problem. Like, I'm, I'm learning how to keep it down. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, when I get mad or I feel like that tense of mad, it go all the way. I'm all the way with it. I can't stop it. Mm-hmm. You can't stop it. Either. Nobody can stop that shit unless. It, I just go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Or walk away from I'm away from the situation. It's, a, I it's just crazy, it's rage, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I told her, I was like, uh, I basically, help me. I've been mean, crying out for help for a couple, couple weeks <laughs> out there, you know what I'm saying? And I ended up snapping on my, my balls, getting fired, you know what I'm saying? I'm crying. He's like, I, y'all, I, if you would have gave me, but yeah. it was true on the slip. Like, yeah. okay, find ways to deal with your stress. But yeah, yeah. I knew you was right. Like, the Bible you know, said we're not supposed to restrict um, sex from your partner. Like, well, y'all you both agreed to. Yeah. yeah. When you're, you're married, married, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. What were you saying? But you're not supposed to have <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. A lot of stuff, yeah. It's a lot of factors. Yeah. Man, that's hard, man. The way, that, the way life is now today, it's hard to do that. It was hard back then, too. Like, when... <laughs> when <it> was, <laughs> she I'm ready for all the stuff. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, dang, like, like, married. Like, you got to really find the right person, though. Like, they just check mm-hmm. it out. It's going to be hard to check it out, but some checks that you can't do something, you just got to stick with and help, and work with them, helping them try to fix it. Not for you, but for them too. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. hey, not that I don't like it, but I don't think nobody like this for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, you know, need to fix yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think nobody like this for you. <laughs> but I see what bro got going on. To me, uh... From me walking in into now, you you are really cool. Like you you really laid back with it. Like you ain't the type of dude that come in the room and just start talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You sit back, you just observe. So I wouldn't say that you like lame or nothing like that. Or like what you say you ain't getting no girls or nothing like I that. I didn't it's, say he not no, girls. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. The, the, it's like the way you said it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like for him, it's like if I like you. I'm, I'm gonna fuck with you. Like, it ain't no, oh, cause he, 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 like you, I'm gonna mm-hmm. fuck with you. It's like, shit, yeah. you come to me, I'll fuck with you. So it ain't no, I feel where you coming from on certain situations, though. I mean, you, I'm like, a lot of guys who, like, get a lot of girls, they kind of be real talkative or, like, I don't know, mm-hmm. I'm kind of, like, chill lately. Like, yeah. I don't get offended when girls be thinking that they. She ain't, all she says, you don't seem adventurous. Y'all are really making it seem like I just said, you did lame, do don't it? get hey, that like, bro, like, bro, <laughs> Did she do it? Did she do it? Oh, he said, she said, she said you no, look, no, she she said, you look like that. I want him to say it. I want him to say it. Because we just basically just said that you basically said it like that. Because that's how y'all took it. That's <laughs> what the response was like. Um, um, now, what you say? You said something about um, some women don't think I get women or something yeah, like that. You yeah, said that. So that's why I had to say, you know. She was Read it like that. Like, <laughs> you, she said that in regards to you being explored. You said, I don't like when women be, uh, yeah, trying to do all yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. She said, You seem like the type of person that don't want that, like, but she ain't saying you don't get bitches. Like, trying to eat my ass or like <laughs> I was eating it. Not me, <laughs> have y'all <laughs> ever practiced celibacy though? Yes, I told y'all be fast. I think like, that's a part of the journey that I haven't explored yet. Man, it's hard. I'm already knowing. That's why I haven't explored it. <laughs> Girl. Don't try it oh, oh, it's a little too late. <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, um, I guess what me is just like if I just go to work and just focus on myself mm. and not talk to girls, you end up being celibate. Mm. You just or I pray though, like cause I have. I'm a sexual person, bro. Like I like sex. I'm good at sex. I'm Leah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He did say that. I'm good at it. I'm July, August, August. Oh, big, big freaks. Yeah, <laughs> you in? <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, I try not to because it's a one. It's a distraction. It like, is. I have so many things to do. Like for real, for me to be worried about handling myself and all this stuff. It's like. 
the time that I spent going to do that, I could have gone and did something else. Like, mm. So I really want to stay focused there. And um, with my interactions in the past, now the older I get, I can feel people. Like how they talk about the soul ties and all oh, that yeah. stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. Ooh, I gotta call you back, man. I'm in a, I'm on a show. <laughs> it's not TT. Daniel, I gotta call you back. I'm on a show. You talking about TT? Um, <laughs> what did I say? Ah, yo, you said some uh, soul ties. Oh, I, I feel you. people on me. Yeah. yeah. So like the last few people that I've had sex mm. with, like bro. I feel their energy and raw. Uh, raw. Yeah. I can I get tested though. <laughs> like I'll go with the person and go get tested. Blah, blah, blah. So yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, to me, body count don't matter. I just want to see the test results. Yeah. Because you can have one partner. Yeah. And, and they, got some. Yeah. yeah. We went and got tested together too. Was that your first time going with your partner to get tested? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I go with my partner, go get tested. If I'm cheating on him, <laughs> why would I do that? <laughs> He's like, yeah. I don't want them to recognize me at the clinic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can feel the energy, like the exchanges for real. Um, and I started feeling spirits on me that I didn't recognize. Mm. Like, I don't have spirits of fear on me i don't have spirits of anxiety wow. and stuff like that but i felt that in me and i couldn't shake it mm -hmm. so to feel that i'm like i'm not about to keep letting people put this in me mm -hmm. and so literally yeah. that was that'll be the driving force for me to say i'm not having sex i don't want to touch nobody and stuff like that Boom. toys and stuff like have you been in me though that's how i'm feeling <laughs> 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 i'm saying yo, the semen carry out in the real that get deep yeah. Yeah. yeah, he go crazy. Nah, he wasn't. Nah, nobody don't comment me. I just he like, said yeah. all these people was like, "Really? You ever watch Avatar?" Uh, yeah. You that they're illustrating different things. How they take their little joint and they lock in with whatever animal they riding and stuff. Y'all seen Avatar? No. Oh, so on Avatar they like the hair. Yeah, yeah, I used to watch the last Airbender, the cartoon. I oh, see, not that one. Yeah. yeah, the one with Zoe. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to watch that. They connect with the animals and stuff or the everything of the world and stuff. They'll take, mm -hmm. it's a part of their hair or something and they lock in, like really connect with them mm -hmm. in order to control whatever they're dealing with. But they're illustrating like the same type of thing. So when you allow somebody inside of you as a woman, you're receiving them, like their energy, their spirits, whatever, they demons, all of that. I done mess with some people. <laughs> but yeah, it don't take no sperm just to do that. How many? What did you say? How many people I mess with? Eat it raw. I don't know. <laughs> like two. You know you lying. <laughs> she know she lying. You couldn't even play her to get the real number, man. So, man, my two boyfriends that I just broke up with. Yup. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Not the point. <laughs> I love them still. <laughs> I'ma call somebody and I'm here. Okay. No, are no, you no, are no. you still open to the? You don't call it poly, but are you open to the multiple boyfriends still, or are you trying to heal your trauma? I'm trying to heal my trauma. Good like, show. Um, I'm working on me. I'm yeah. really every single time <laughs> in the. I had one boyfriend. After that ended, then I ended up just talking to people and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I kept saying, I'm not dealing with nobody. I don't want to deal with nobody. I, I know this. Like, yeah. I keep telling myself this. But I have this thing. I'm just so easy going. <laughs> <laughs> people are like, I like you. I'm yeah. like, well, you're pretty cool too. They're like, you're mine now. I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I end up dealing with people. But this time I'm really trying to stick to... My my Maryland boyfriend, I broke up with him. He's not going for it. He like that's not in the contract, bro. We didn't agree to that. We mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So like, if he really, you know, show me something and really acting right, and we can lock in, sure. Like just him. Yeah. But I don't want to deal with nobody at all right now. I just let him deal with me. Let's deal mm -hmm. with her. So when you going through your celibate seats, okay, you know so that ain't mine. Okay. <laughs> We're these, doing that. Right? <laughs> Do you still like? self-pleasure or do you self-pleasure how to yeah but yeah. um i mean i don't see anything against whatever's for you right mm -hmm. so when i'm doing this 
I'm not doing this because I read the Bible and it says you're not supposed to blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it because I feel within myself this is what I need to do in order to get to whatever the goal is. Okay. So if I feel like, all right, I'm not going to allow other people inside of me, but I'm horny, I'm going to go handle that. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be thinking about it. But I do. Yeah. Now I'm trying to not think about it. So I'll resort to praying. I'll be if I have like thoughts, I'll be like hallelujah. I'll say hallelujah on repeat mm. until I can think of something else. When I'm not seeing it no more, yeah. then I can stop saying hallelujah. Oh, I'm man. seeing it, bruh. So I'm repeating hallelujah. It's like the holy church, girl. I'm trying to tell you for real. I'll be repeating it and then after that, then I'll pray. And I'm like, all right, God, like listen, bruh. Help me. Help me. I'm not calling nobody else for help. I'm calling yeah. God. <laughs> like the same way he could erase all them other feelings, all the other thoughts, the same way that works. But mm -hmm. sometimes I don't want to erase it. So that's when I do the hallelujah <laughs> on repeat. Because I know if I call God and he's going to get rid of it, it's done. Mm -hmm. like, it's gone. So. But yeah, it just depends on the goal. Yeah, it is addiction. It's addiction <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah it feels good. That's, that's it. What you're to do. <laughs> <laughs> if you was on uh, birth control, you would. Oh my god! <laughs> I haven't been on birth control since like college. But you know, like the, one of the first times a girl said I got her pregnant, it shot by itself. Like, and I still was hard. Like, so I felt it shoot out a little bit, but it was hard. Then I, you know, what I'm saying then I came later. She was like, I thought I was pregnant. I was like, damn. So I can't even really do that shit. Like, <laughs> So it'll shoot out anyway. Yeah. Like it's holding for so long. Yeah, all that, all that pull-offs. I be, man, I don't play. I swear. Ooh. We got to play. I don't like the idea. I don't, I'm i listening. Like, when I'm having sex, I'm paying attention. Mm -hmm. So I know what I'm doing, bro. I know how it sounds when it's changing up, when it's about to. I, it's, I lose interest as soon as I think something about to happen. I'll be, it'll be like, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm listening, bro. Like, <laughs> because like, I'm also doing that too. Yeah. Like, if you on top, I'm like, I'm kind of like, you don't know this. I know. I'm saying, like, fucked up for the dude, because dude could be going in. Like, bro, baby. She was like, no one. She, she mine, yo. You know that, but you, you mess with me. You know. it, he just go like this. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a fight in the bedroom or something. Kicking, screaming. Don't play with me, bro. And I don't care after that. Like, don't do that to me. I got stuff to get done. Like, don't do me, please, please. Oh, okay. I only got nobody <laughs> to say please to because I ain't touching none of y'all. But uh, whomever eventually, I don't know. I, I'm giving myself to 33 for if I want to have kids and stuff. So by 33 you know if i hold out i ain't holding out to 33 but to have sex but by 33 if you want to do something yeah. you know, handle your business i'm gonna take care of it i'm like them getting financially stable and stuff setting my foundation so it is what it is after that i could be a married single mother a real housewife whatever like the baby could be here because i can handle it but right now if you hate me <laughs> that's what you do, bro. Get your brain. Yeah, if you hate me, for sure. Because that's what I'm going to take it as. You just didn't care about me. At you prayed for my downfall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the devil sent you himself. He was like, remember he was talking to uh, Jesus? He was like, you may see that down there? The devil was like, you see Caleb? <laughs> and told that you. One. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if the guy could keep the baby more than you would have helped, like, you're just thinking about, like, Cause I'm gonna have to keep it. I can't really move around. Oh no! Yeah, like, if, you, if you could keep the baby, that's cool too. I don't want nobody else raising my kid. Not even your man. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, 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 she is a We don't know. We hmm. don't know. We ain't got to. They be doing their best, but though. Nah, I know some fathers, though. I know some fathers. Like, I never seen their baby moms type fathers and mm. multiple children. They just keep having kids. Ooh. Like, where the moms at? They just, they dads. So, I I have faith in certain men. Mm. But again, you got to know who you're dealing with yeah. before you decide you want to pop that pee. <laughs> <laughs> Because, nah, don't just be having no kid with somebody you don't trust. I be telling my, my booze that. 
I don't care who you talk to. Like, but don't be popping it in because y'all just be busting and stuff. Yeah, be, <laughs> literally. Be busting and stuff, talk about whatever. But y'all but y'all gotta show us the, the dude abortion too. And on top of that, that's a fee, is, bro. I know, I know, but it's, you know, and you know, it's a I'm process like, to my body. I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, safe it is. free. If you the pill free. Alright, plan B. Yeah. Plan, yeah. B. Yeah. plan B. Plan B. The plan B. Plan B ain't free. I know. I'm just saying. Okay. What I'm saying is, like, of course, of course, like if you you should come to the dude and be like, hey, dude, pay for the uh, plan B. <laughs> if you don't pay for it, pay you pay for the plan B. Can't fuck with him no more. Yeah. Cause you already know he on. Or if you fuck with him, just know your ass gonna be playing plan B for the rest of your life. You know no. what I'm saying? So, no. And no. like, but women should know, like that 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 would be crazy. I think women be so caught up in these fantasy worlds, and especially in the moment of having sex and stuff like that, and they get pregnant. And they think they got to live their best life and not knowing that they putting pressure on the dude. Like, dude ain't even, you know what I'm saying? That's just like, oh, marry me. You know what I'm saying? Without doing it, not knowing that. Damn, she got baby in her stomach is a responsibility. So it's like, you lay down having sex with this dude and not realizing, like, think about the time. Like, what, what the fuck you be at 5 o'clock? We be at seven o'clock. <laughs> we be at ten o'clock. Like if you don't know those times, you should not be yeah, laying down with that time to have true, a baby, bro. Real. Because ten times out of ten, you're going to be single. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? You're going to keep doing this and keep doing it and keep doing it. You're going to have a hell of kids. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like if you're going to lay down with a dude, bro, you should know where he be at. Like know he be at. Mm -hmm. If you know where he be at, then. Not nine times ten, he gonna be in that child's life or be around you, helping you. If, if you, you don't know, he, he, yeah. guess what? <laughs> you, you can't play <laughs> some. Oh, he had lunch. Yeah, you can't you play some. You ain't gonna be doing that shit. I'm doing that guy. Cause he gonna that's be in the wind. wind. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, 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 that's what I'm saying. I always like, uh, I ain't never ran from, I think the first time, one of the first times when you're young, like when you, you know, the call to break or something, you get scared. Mm -hmm. You be like, I should maybe drink cold rocks or some shit like that. You, know, oh. you just be thinking weird <laughs> shit, but. What, the, you, what they teach you when you, play. To, yeah, <laughs> when you When you get older, you be like, okay, that's cool. You got one mind if you had a baby. Yeah, like as I get close to 33, that's older for me. That's I'm not even an adult until I'm 33 at this point. Yeah, don't fuck, that's grown fuck business. Well. It was on you, Kay. We ran into a whole nother interview when I said your turn. Right? That, I, I think you got more comfortable when she came too, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, no, she, I'm um, I mean, she usually, like, connect Everybody with friend. the guests yeah. more, so. Yeah. I'm everybody's friend. <laughs> that's that Leo. Yeah. Oh, uh, I got a question, like, because that's the reason I really, of course, to support her, but she was telling me because I told you about the rapid line, mm -hmm. and I might be in that show, you feel me, in an interview. So when you interview, do you do all interviews read all papers or like? No, actually, cause she freestyle. She freestyle all for you though. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like I'm, some I'm, people do. I mean, I started reading papers cause I when I was doing music, people were freestyle. And they ain't really had shit to say. <laughs> so I was like, let me get some shit together when I start interviewing people. Mm -hmm. And then when I started do, using a paper, I, everybody started using paper. But I just thought it was like. You can't remember all these deep ass questions. Yeah. Some people can, but I can, so yeah. I just wrote them down. I think mm. it's best to prepare for um, your interviews. Mm. Like, I know that he's going to have questions, mm. and so I can improvise off of where he's going, and then I can listen to their conversation and then be like, oh, well, off of this. And yeah. do. But if I need to remember something, I'm writing it down too. That was, that was good because you kept it going. And then on top of that, it was fun, sad, happy. Man, you, you going all around the board mm -hmm. trying to figure out that person. Dang. So that's that's good. Like the audience know how this person is when they mad, they sad, happy, horny, yeah. all, all that shit. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? You you dug all the holes, so that was, that was good. Y'all look good. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. That was great feedback. Uh, thank you. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I have called my life. Her friends were saying the same thing. She actually started crying about you know it was a story about her son. He was choking. 
Yeah, we, we listened to that before. Yeah, he couldn't talk because, yeah. But, uh, yeah. That's the goal, though, to mm-hmm. take you through all them emotions. It won't be the same boring energy. But it'd be more depressing a lot of times. So if it's just me sometimes, yeah. be going at this motherfucker. Sometimes. Like, <laughs> what, about, what, about the interview, <laughs> what about the interview of that that digs up on that person before that person get in that seat? So you already know these person's dark, deep secrets before they even get in that seat. Mm-hmm. And now they're sitting in front of you and trying to act like they don't have dark, deep secrets. Book typically know that, too. Uh, some he, we coming this year, he be like, I, be, I don't be knowing nothing. He be like, yeah, so what happened to that girl that had an abortion from your baby? <laughs> I be like. Sometimes, you, if, I, if I know the person, mm-hmm. but I, sometimes when I was like uh, scheduling like four people a day, it's like. And then um, it's like if they don't show up, you be like, damn, I don't research people for nothing. Mm-hmm. So I just like come up with my own question because a lot of times you research somebody and they don't even show up. So it'd be mm-hmm. like for nothing. What's yeah. your way of researching? Uh, I do like a lot of, I do like quotes and stuff. I might go to a song or something. It might be something in my life. I, you know, make a Oh, like, oh, you don't look person. for a specific person? No, not oh. really. Oh, see, my way of researching is Depending on who it is. Like, if somebody booked me for an interview, of course I got to bring all that stuff out of them. So I look at, like, their social medias, their websites. I remember one dude, he um, ended up booking me. I didn't know who he was. And um, he ended, he was dating Tiffany Haddish. Mm-hmm. Like, they had went out together. And I knew that was something that he didn't want to talk about because when I brought it up in the interview, he kind of shied away from it. But I was able to pull that out mm-hmm. like, okay, I know you don't want to talk about it. We're, we're going to we'll brush around right. it, but we're going to talk about we're it. Like, about yeah. it sure. So we ended up talking about that, but like getting stuff out of that, like that was crazy to me because I, I didn't know who he was. Mm-hmm. His publicist had just like reached out to me and I learned about him. And I was like, okay, cool. So what's your method of research? Do you do like stuff like that? I mean, yeah. I just, I don't, I used to, mm-hmm. I used to do, but now I just, I might just see what you do. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I ask people and I just go from stuff. there. So if you're like, I want to be on the show, okay, yeah. um, send me a few things that I should definitely yeah. ask you about just so I know. But otherwise, I'm like, it's going to be on brand. You mm. know, the interview's going to be on brand. So it's not, it's my job to bring you out right. within what I want to know, you know. So, But I'll, if I'll highlight the important parts. Mm. So like with you, I asked, what's something our audience should know about you that mm. we didn't ask you about? Like, you're like, I interviewed this person who dated Tiffany Haddish. Okay, where? Yeah. Like, <laughs> where, where do we hear that? Yeah. Where, where do we go find that? Yeah. I feel like I should have talked about it a lot more, but I, I was having fun with you. I'm asking like, you right now. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. You can go find it on, on, my, um, on my YouTube channel. I've done work with um, a lot of different people in the industry as far as like, Nonprofits and local, but I've also did media coverage for Yandy from Love and Hip Hop nice. um, for her son Lil Man DC's birthday party. Nice. Um, I ran into uh, what's the what's the producer's name? Dang. Just just my first interview ever was with Keisha Cole's sister Elite Noel. Nice. So just coming off of that, Prodigy for Mindless Behavior. Y'all remember Mindless Behavior? Yes. My girl, my girl, she loves I'm me. I'm crying. I remember the name. Yeah, I, I interviewed <laughs> him. Um, but I don't be liking to just throw out like the big celebrity mm-hmm. name. Of course, they get to be like, "Ooh, wow!" But that ain't really. What's you know? your goal with interviewing people? My goal with interviewing. Uh, so you know, kind of like how Revolt is. I want my own network. So I have more than a network. And um, that's where my base and foundation and all my interviews and stuff go on there. Mm-hmm. So I interview individuals in the media and entertainment field, content creators, artists, rappers, uh, entrepreneurs that's in the media field. And all my interviews are hosted on there. Like earlier today before I got here, um, it's, I interviewed somebody and he's from New York coming back to Atlanta. So he kind of want to put his name and his face back out there. So he booked an interview with me, and that's basically what we did. So now I just got to edit his stuff, and it's going to go on the YouTube channel. Nice. But with that, I want to, like, own network. Oprah Winfrey is one of my inspirations. Um, I don't necessarily want a big Tyler Perry studio, but just having a warehouse to – not even a warehouse, a photo studio mm-hmm. more so that I'll be able to rent out, host different events there, stuff like that. So that's really my goal with nice. all of this. 
Okay, so what? Where should the people follow you and go see your YouTube channel yeah. and listen to your <laughs> interviews and support your network? With everything, y'all can go to www.summerchristiana, summer, S-U-M-E-R, like the season, Christiana, C-H-R-I-S-S-I-A-N-A <laughs> dot com. Um, you'll find everything there. My Instagram, Facebook, um, we have a 360 machine that we run out for different events and stuff like that. On YouTube, it's more than network, but you type in Summer Christiana, you'll find more than network and all the other stuff that I'm into. Nice. Oh, were you born in the summer? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> July 23rd. Okay. Yeah. You a uh, cancer? I'm Leo. Oh, you I'm on the cusp. You a July I'm on the Leo? Oh, they but, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they nutty. I knew she was a Leo, though. How could you tell? Uh, it was something you said. Oh, the water. You was like, oh, the water really calms me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fire sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, Leo. But you didn't react okay. too much. Like, you were like, okay, August Leo. But you weren't like, Leo gang. So I was like, okay. I thought she was. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I thought you were one of me. Right. Okay. You got a lion tattoo? Yeah. Where's that? On my head. Okay, mine on my back. <laughs> I think all Leo's got that tattoo. Like, that's the universal sign. All right. <clears throat> all right, um. Literally is no pressure, man. I guess we're going to see y'all next week, and we out.